Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we will go around the basics of Site Audit. This is one of the most used tools on Site Checker, and it has a lot of helpful features. First, let's go into some details on how Site Audit works. We have a bot that goes through the code on your website. First, it goes through the main URL and looks for links in the code of this page. Then, it goes through the collected links and repeats the process until no new links are found. After the bot has collected information about all the available links, we have a list of checks that have specific requirements to pass them. Let's take a look at a few main elements of Site Audit. Here you can see the website score, which indicates the overall rating of your website based on how many critical issues and warnings it has. If you want a bit more details on how it's calculated, please check out our How It's Calculated article located right here. On the right side, we have some useful information about how many pages were checked, the last date of crawling, Google safety information, and how many pages are currently indexed. Going a bit down, we can see the site level issue section, which indicates basic issues like correctly set up 404 page, whether we have robots file, sitemap, and other checks. When we scroll down a bit more, we land in page level issue section. Here, you can see three blocks colored in red, yellow, and blue. Red block indicates critical issues and needs to be addressed in the first place, since such issues have a direct impact on your website. Yellow block indicates warnings, which are not as severe as critical issues, but in huge quantities can harm your website as well. The blue one is for notices. They do not impact your website score and your website as itself, but provide helpful insights and growth areas for the future. Under these three blocks, you can see a list of issues found on your website and their color corresponds to the block they are in. Near each section, there is a how to fix article. This will help you to get a general understanding of what a certain issue is about and possible ways of resolving it. Also, if you feel like this issue is not applicable in your case, you can always click on ignore issue and this specific check will no longer appear in audit. You can unignore it in project settings right here. Let's dive into the audit a bit deeper. You can click on view issues to see the full list of URLs, or you can click on one of the blocks we talked about earlier to jump to URLs with critical issues or warnings specifically. If you want to see URLs with specific issue or warning, click on the issue in question right here. Let's dive into one of the found issues and have a look around. We have an option to show page weight, so you can see what pages are the most important on your website, and a convenient search bar to quickly look up the pages in question. Here you can see the URL itself. We can go to it by simply clicking on it. We can also copy it using this button. Right under the URL, there is a links section. It can help you to identify what internal and external links are on this page, and also see internal backlinks. Internal backlinks indicate pages where a specific URL can be found in code. It can be pretty helpful in identifying where the specific link is coming from. On the right side of the link, depending on the issue, you will have two or three buttons. In this case, there are view page audit and view page code buttons. For some issues, we can provide a show issue in code button. For duplication checks, we provide see duplicates button and for links with redirects, we provide see redirects button. Let me show you how it works. We can also do a deep dive into on-page SEO with the view page audit. It will help you to focus more on specific pages and get helpful insights to improve your website page by page. The view page code button provides a convenient option to view the source code straight from SiteChecker. So you don't have to open a separate tab in the browser just to check the code. After you resolve some of the issues, click on the recrawl button which is located on top to get the updated information on your audit. 
If you turn on the site monitoring feature in settings of your project, your audit will be updated automatically. You can set the frequency of automatic recrawl right here. Sharing the information is important, and having a convenient way of doing so is even more important. We have a few options for sharing a project. You can download a PDF report for the whole audit or just one page. You can set a custom logo for these reports in account settings. You can also export a certain list of URLs with specific issues by clicking here. You can quickly copy all the links right here. Another option we have is sharing access to the project on SiteChecker. We have two options at the moment. You can share it via the email or the link. When you share the project via the link, the user you send the link to will be able to view all the information about the project, but will not be able to see your personal information as well as edit the project. When you share the project via email, you can edit the rights of specific users. This way, they can edit the settings of the project if needed. Please be informed that if you share the project via email, the person you share it with must have at least a free SiteChecker account to view this project. Here you go, we've covered all the basic elements of SiteAudit. See you again in other tutorials.